Helicopters are an incredibly effective means of delivering weapons and saving people. They excel in overall military use, especially as a strike weapon. Helicopters are an indispensable tool in military conflicts. Today, we will show you the 10 best attack helicopters in the world. The AIC WZ-10 is an attack helicopter developed by the People's Republic of China. It is designed primarily for anti-tank warfare missions, but has secondary air-to-air -air capabilities as well. The cockpit is protected by composite armor. The bulletproof glass canopy of the cockpit can withstand 7.62mm rounds. The chin-mounted turret can be fitted with a 20mm or 30mm auto cannon. The helicopter can carry up to 8 ATGMs for an anti-armor roll. 8 TY-90 air-to-air missiles, and 4 PL-5, PL-7, and PL-9 air-to-air missiles. The Mi-24 is an attack helicopter of Soviet origin. It was developed in the late 1960s to provide Soviet forces with capabilities similar to that of the US AH-1 Cobra. Most Mi-24 feature a 12.7mm Yak-B minigun and a chin turret, while some have a very powerful 2-barrel 30mm GSH-30K autocannon straddled along the right side of the cockpit. The inner pylons are used to carry unguided rockets such as the 57mm S-5 and 80mm S-8 gun pods such as the UPK-23, and a variety of freefall bombs. The outer pylons are fitted with guided anti-tank missiles, such as the AT-2 missiles on early models, and the AT-6 and AT-9 on later models. Royvilk is a latest generation attack helicopter from Dental Aviation of South Africa. The Royvilk carries a comprehensive range of weaponry, adaptable to various mission requirements, ranging from anti-armor and anti-helicopter missions to ground suppression and ferry missions. The aircraft can engage multiple targets at short and long range, utilizing the nose-mounted cannon and a range of underwing-mounted munitions. The 20mm F2 dual-feed gas-operated cannon fires high-speed ammunition at a firing rate of 740 rounds a minute. AH-1W Super Cobra is the U.S. Marine's attack helicopter. It is supplied by Bell Helicopter Textron and entered service in 1985. The Super Cobra can carry both tow and Hellfire anti-armor missiles and is qualified to carry the Maverick missile. The Raytheon BGM-71 tow missile has a range of more than 3 kilometers and semi-automatic command-to-line-of-sight guidance. The AGM-114 Hellfire missile is manufactured by Lockheed Martin. It is equipped with a semi-active laser seeker and has a range of 7 kilometers. The Super Cobra has fire and forget capability when firing the Hellfire missile in cooperative mode with laser target illumination. The T-129 multi-role attack helicopter is being developed jointly by Augusta Westland and Turkish Aerospace Industries for the Turkish Land Forces Command under the Attack and Tactical Reconnaissance Helicopter Program. The helicopter has four hardpoints to carry a weaponry payload of 1,200 kilograms. Its stub wing pylons can accommodate anti-tank guided missiles, air-to-air -air missiles, 70mm 2.75-inch rockets, and 70mm 2.75-inch guided rockets. A 20mm turreted three-barrel gun system can be fitted on the nose turret. Optional armaments include 12.7mm gun pots. AH-1 
AH-1Z Viper is an American twin-engine attack helicopter based on the AH-1W Super Cobra that was developed for the United States Marine Corps as part of the H-1 upgrade program. The AH-1Z features a four-blade, bearingless, composite main rotor system, upgraded transmission, and a new target sighting system. The AH-1Z Viper is compatible with the widest array of ordnance of any rotary wing aircraft in history. It is the only helicopter on the planet with fully integrated air-to-air -air missiles to go along with superior air-to-ground anti-armor weaponry. This combination makes the Viper the ideal platform to combat a host of conflict scenarios anywhere in the world. The C-665 Tiger helicopter was developed for France and Germany in three configurations. UHT multi-role fire support for the German Army, HAD multi-role combat, and HAP combat support for the French Army. The Tiger helicopters are armed with eight Lockheed Martin Hellfire II air-to-ground missiles. The Hellfire II has a semi-active laser seeker and a range of over 8 kilometers. The Tiger is also armed with one Nexter, formerly GAT, 30mm cannon turret. 70mm rockets, and four Mistral air-to-air -air missiles. The Mi-28 combat helicopter has been developed by the Mil Moscow Helicopter Plant and is known by its NATO codename Havoc. The Russian Air Force has up to 60 of this variant, now called the Mi-28N Night Hunter. The Mi-28N Night Hunter is armed with Shurtum and Attacka anti-tank missiles, supplied by the Kolumna Design Bureau. Up to 16 anti-tank missiles can be mounted on the helicopter. The helicopter can also carry four containers, each with 20 80mm unguided rockets, or with five 122mm rockets. The helicopter is equipped with a turreted 2A42 30mm cannon, stabilized in two axes, with a muzzle velocity of 1,000 meters a second. AH-64 Apache is the Army's Heavy Division Core Attack Helicopter. The AH-64 is designed to endure frontline environments and to operate during the day or night, and in adverse weather via its avionics and onboard sensor suites. The AH-64D is armed with a Lockheed Martin Boeing AGM-11 114D Longbow Hellfire Air-to-Surface Missile, which has a millimeter wave seeker, allowing the missile to perform in full fire and forget mode. Its range is 8 kilometers to 12 kilometers. AA-52 Alligator is an all-weather attack helicopter operated by the Russian Air Force. The starboard side of the fuselage is fitted with a NPPU-80 movable gun mount installed with a 2A42 30mm automatic gun. The six wing-mounted external hardpoints can be attached with different combinations of weapons. The hardpoints can carry anti-tank guided missiles, missiles with laser guidance systems, and rocket launchers for 80mm unguided S-8 rockets. The Vicar anti-tank missile has a range of 8 to 10 kilometers. The KA-52S can also be armed with IGLOV-5 anti-aircraft guided missiles. That's all friends, thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the helicopters you liked the most. Also click the like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.